Okay, welcome back and good Wednesday morning. I'm meteorologist Josh Dunan for John Scalzi today. The radar is quiet, nothing to show you here up and down the Sun Coast. This changes though this afternoon with a few showers and storms that, that will get going. But you know what? Yesterday we had those afternoon storms and some of these storms in eastern Charlotte County produced around two inches of rainfall. And over here, uh, just to the northern end of Anne Marie Island, about a half inch of rain, some spots there. And in between Northport and Punta Gorda, just about a half inch of rainfall. So we had some areas of heavy rain, some gusty winds, and some lightning strikes yesterday. Looks like we could repeat that today, but I don't think it's going to be as widespread along the Sun Coast as what we saw yesterday. 76 degrees, our current temperature, so comfortable conditions. We're seeing a beautiful sunrise on this Wednesday morning and an easterly wind only three miles per hour. And that's about it. We do have dry air that's kind of draped over the peninsula. It was more prevalent over the last few days and that has limited the uh, widespread shower activity. Now it's starting to fade away and there's an area of high pressure to the northeast of Florida that's been bringing that northeast easterly wind but this area of high pressure is slipping southward and the more it slips southward that return flow around it is not going to come in from the northeast and the east it's going to come in from the southeast and then eventually the southwest and then the west and that's what's going to change our weather as we get into the weekend so instead of these storms that will fire up inland and then be pushed westward by those upper level easterly winds uh, over the weekend, when we have those southwesterly westerly winds, remember two weeks ago, we started off the day with showers in the morning, and then uh, with the heating of the day, the sea breeze convergence actually took place further inland. Storms blew up inland, and then they were pushed eastward. Well, that's what's going to happen over the weekend and into early next week. But for today, our future cast has those southeasterly winds taking place, so you can see the general flow of these storms that do fire up will be pushed towards the coast later on this afternoon. Now, speaking of storms, there's some activity out here in the tropics. We did have a subtropical storm, Debbie, yesterday. Subtropical meaning under tropical characteristics. Today, it's a tropical storm. That's right, National Hurricane Center upgraded Debbie to a full-fledged tropical storm, has sustained winds of 45 miles per hour. Where is Debbie going? It's in the northern Atlantic right now, so over for the most part, cooler waters, and it will continue tracking towards the north and northeast. And as you can see, it just kind of fades away. So other than uh, shipping interest, it's not going to affect land. Now, in the Pacific, we have a different storm. This is Hurricane Hector, and it's a major hurricane with sustained winds of 125 miles per hour. It is tracking towards the west, and it's going to track just to the south of Hawaii. Now this is going to bring some gusty winds, even some heavy rainfall in some locations around the Hawaiian Islands, but also the big story will be the surf, and I'm sure the surfers will love this forecast, but it is going to be pretty dangerous with these uh, strong uh, winds producing big waves coming towards the shoreline in Hawaii. It's not affecting us, just out of interest and that's what's happening in the tropics. All right, for the boaters, expect a south wind at 10 knots. Seas 1 to 2 feet just offshore with a light chop in the bays. Our high today will top out at 91. Mostly sunny, becoming partly cloudy in the afternoon. Then those showers and storms will get going later on this afternoon. All right, breaking down the forecast. Next couple of days, rain chance kind of goes down because we'll be in a transition. And then over the weekend into early next week, of course, Monday is back to school day. Again, we'll have those showers in the morning, kind of light, and then uh, more showers and heavier storms will develop inland and then track eastward thanks to the upper level winds moving from west to east. 